Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Hi, Viper Keeper here. Normally my uh, videos don't uh, require any sort of uh, input from me. A matter of fact, I like to stay off camera and such. I used to be on camera a lot more uh, uh, when I had something on my mind. Uh, in this case, I'm going to show a video uh, that I captured on four different cameras from four different angles uh, just to give everybody a, a perspective of what it's like uh, when a six to eight foot black mamba charges you and decides that uh, you need to be dead. Uh, it happened on the 28th of October of 2015. Uh, many of you on the face, Viper Keeper Facebook page and stuff saw the still uh, image that I took from the video of me uh, backed into the corner uh, with this uh, black mamba almost up to my waist with its face pointing upward and I think uh, what helped is the floor is a bit slick because it's lacquered and I don't think the snake really got good uh, traction. Uh, I initially wasn't going to uh, post this video because of the trolls on the web and the armchair uh, venomous snake keepers who of course can uh, outperform me and you know know it all and, and that sort of stuff. Um, you know those people just need to get a life and uh, just watch the videos and learn from them. Uh, do I make mistakes? Yeah, very likely. Um, should I have a bigger room? Maybe. Uh, my friend Jim Harrison said there's nothing like a black mamba or a big bothrops to make even the largest room seem very small. Um, uh, should I had two hands, uh, another set of hands handy, uh, so to speak, um, uh, I could have. However, uh, what's worse than one person taking a bite from a black mamba is two people taking a bite from a black mamba, um, which could certainly happen with the speed at which this animal moves, its fluidity, and its ability to bite you several times uh, while going past you. Uh, anyone who's kept black mambas for a long time uh, know this is a very common characteristic and certainly the people in Africa uh, where this snake uh, lives uh, and people encounter it, they will tell you the same thing. There's nothing more dangerous other than a Cape Buffalo than a black mamba at uh, operating temperature that's really pissed off. Remember, these snakes can go 14 miles an hour uh, these are the fastest snakes on the planet. Um, now, uh, the way the video will run is first uh, it'll show me uh, boxing a smaller black mamba that was wild caught the year before. Um, and these were all going to my uh, to the breeding program uh, at another zoo where we're breeding all f uh, four or five species of black mambas. So, I box it up and then I take on this big polylepis which gives me uh, a really bad time. Uh, this bad time as I said was cut, uh, caught on by four cameras that I had running because I had this feeling that this wasn't going to be an easy task. Um, the first camera you, you'll see video from is, uh, is up there on the wall. Uh, one of the webcams and I might uh, make a note that sometimes the webcams drop offline and drop back online in less than a couple seconds so there are some points where the frames may seem to jump but uh, it's you know I had nothing to do with it it's just the way it is so that's the first camera the second camera will be from a GoPro camera which is sitting on a chair over there in that corner 
uh, near the air conditioner pointing this way. So you'll get the view of it sort of uh, hitting the deck and chasing me into the corner uh, from basically knee level. Uh, the third and fourth views will come from up there on the wall, uh, a camera looking down over my shoulder, so you'll get that view and then a camera up on top of the popcorn culbras and such uh, for, for the last view. And I'll run the, all four of those views in sequence, uh, uh, approximately from the same starting and ending point, uh, so you can get the idea. Uh, after that uh, craziness was all done and that mamba was secured, uh, I went and boxed a large western green mamba, which was going for... Uh, again, our breeding program that I've got going, um, so uh, that will pretty much uh, end the video. Uh, it uh, it, can, it was uh, quite an intense experience. Uh, it was uh, uh, me or the mamba, so unfortunately I, I got a little rough uh, uh, using my snake hook as a sword. Um, but, uh, you know, the snake's okay, the snake's doing well. Uh, as I said, this uh, took place on October 28th and today's uh, November 8th. So the snake has had time to acclimate, is in a cage with two other large mambas. Uh, so they're one big happy family. Uh, so all is well, but, you know, I still rather not... Uh, uh, do anything to hurt the animal, but as you'll see in my case, uh, uh, the animal did not leave me any choice until I, you know, whacked it really good and it decided then that it was going to move away from me and not towards me, which is uh, the way I prefer it. So, that all said, here's the video. It's called Dancing with Death. All right, rock and roll. Uh, there's a number. Oh, you're alive. Okay. Good, I was worried. Uh, there's a number of uh, animals that are going off uh, on a breeding loan. Just to increase the number of animals in the pool of to breed with, I've already got five or six, uh, well, not five or six, one, two, three, like four black mambas, and I'm increasing that number to six. So I've got both males and females. Um, uh, we got, we had a number of eggs laid, but the uh, those eggs were, uh, they all didn't make it except one, uh, and uh, some asshole that was working at the zoo uh, actually killed the viable uh, egg uh, uh, off. Um, so we're still trying to breed the uh, polylepids. Uh, actually in multiple locations uh, but they seem to be uh, working for whatever reason I think uh, they're not being subsequently chilled and cycled properly um, so at any rate uh, two polylepis are going off uh, the viridis uh, uh, will be going off as well as uh, several other animals First, we're going to deal with this very cranky wild caught polylepis. And the reason why we're going to do that is because it's smaller than this the raised one. Can't see it, but 
but uh, here she is in there and already uh, flattening the neck. So what we'll do is we'll get things out of the way as possible and see if we can coax the bee into a bag. Uh, the problem is polylepis are very, very springy and uh, and if pressed, uh, they will come at you. Uh, the larger the polylepis that I have, uh, doesn't fear me at all and therefore is uh, much more dangerous um, because of uh, just because of that. Hello. I guess I don't often work with you. Are you another male, huh? Are you another male? Come on. Come on, behave yourself. Come on. I know you don't want to come out of there. Yes, yes. I see. I see you're very, very unhappy. We can see by that posture that uh, that what looks like a boy is not terribly happy. Oh, great. I'm let Mr. Camera shut down. Well, I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're off and running, aren't we, dude? Aren't we, huh? All right, here, go back in there for a minute. We're going to regroup. Go ahead. Go in there. Uh, and if 
I have to have a when a vehicle accident when in, when in route, I basically have to get run over by a Mack truck in order this to open and chances are uh, the Mazda would not survive it either. So um, that's one. You know, people say, oh, Al, you make it look easy. Al had nothing to do with it. The snake actually caused it to go smoothly. Uh, really, the snakes are in control, folks. Uh, um, yes, you need a really good skill set in order to do this, but, you know, I've seen people who have handled tens of thousands of more highly venomous snakes than I have, like Jim Harrison, and, you know, I've seen the snakes give him a hard time. Uh, it all is uh, very much dependent on the, uh, on the animal and, and not necessarily the handler. Um, yes, I occasionally have uh, some very impressive moves and stuff, but Sometimes, well, that's just not going to come out of there. Okay. Well, this will make this task uh, all the more difficult. Um, and this is a much bigger polylepis than the last one. Hello. Yes, I know you don't want to come out. This is a massive, probably six to seven foot polylepis, who I know quite intimately. I've had it for quite some time. Come on, don't make me use the the to pull your ass out of here. I really, really don't think you using the gentle giants for extracting animals, but uh, this is a very large, very dangerous snake that I would much, much more prefer. No, no, no. Oh, shit, you little bastard. To pull your ass out of here. I really, really don't think using the gentle giants for extracting animals, but uh, this is a very large, very dangerous snake that I would much, much more prefer. I don't know. Don't make me use the, the tongs to, to pull your ass out of here. I really, really don't like using the gentle giants for extracting animals, but uh, this is a very large, very dangerous snake that I would much, much more prefer. I don't know. You are a mother. Come on, don't make me use the, the tongs to, to pull your ass out of there. I really, really 
don't like using the gentle giants for extracting animals, but uh, this is a very large, very dangerous snake that I would much, much more prefer. Never know. Oh, shit, you little bastard. You remember from uh, uh, from the movie Jaws, we need a bigger boat. Well, definitely with snakes like this, we need a bigger room. And that's one reason why I am uh, I'm sending these off to a place that has room because being backed in the corner by a polylepis that comes up to your waist when pissed off and aroused. It's not my idea of a fun, fun time. No, up the hooks for you. Yes, I know you want to go back in your cage. Why do I want you to come back in the cage? Come on. Part of the issue is partially disarm myself in order to use the plex. So I really don't have another set of hands. Required when opening just doesn't quite cover it. Now, if you think that was fun, I've got the Western uh, Green to do next. Um, but first, I need to sort of knock this poop up off the floor. Well, the good thing about that particular encounter was that I am pretty certain 
the big monster that I just dealt with is a female. The other one is a male, smaller one. Uh, so that's a, another nice boost of, of blood into reading project. We hated to have to uh, use the gentle giants, but as I tell everybody, it's the weapon of last resort. Um, it's also known as a weapon of self-preservation. As I said previously, uh, working with these snakes is solely dependent on the cooperation of the snake. And I only elevate Uh, the handling technique to the level of, of the gentle giants when the situation is either out of control or in this case the situation uh, is borderline out of control and um, much easier to uh, deal with the situation by just uh, dealing with it as, uh, as rapidly as quickly as possible. Now, although this western green is likely not uh, to be a problem like the polylepis that I just dealt with, these folks are very nervous and also uh, skittish snakes. My problem with Western Green here is that this snake will likely have a tendency to want to climb through the ceiling up a tree, and there are no trees in here except things that look like trees, like myself and the racks. So, This guy or gal is uh, is rather happy uh, uh, where it is. Hi, do you want to go for a trip? Huh? Do you think you can do this uh, quietly without uh, much fanfare? I very much appreciate that. Okay. So let's see. How this guy will uh, will behave. The only time that he's really been out is cage cleaning. And already he's sort of resisting. And I think this might be a girl. Hello. Let me just place you there. Come on, relax. Beautiful animal. Come on. Just cooperate. I know that's not in your dictionary, but we're going to give it a try. Come on. Easy, easy. I'm not trying to upset you. Your head has to be right where I left that, huh? Huh? Come on. Unlike the black mamba, this guy will go away from you, typically.
that's unfortunate. this again. Yes, now we're getting bitey, huh? Because we're getting really pissed off. Okay. One important thing that I learned from my friend Don is never press a bad position. Sorry, Pogo. Okay, that's all the from this room. <laughs> 